Let me walk you through OpenPilot AI and how it works. After creating a new account, you will be presented with this screen. It will ask you what are you writing today? This is a three steps form to help you generate a draft or a starting point for your document. We will skip this for now and go ahead and look at the library feature. The library allows you to add sources so you can man so you can cite them faster in your content. You can ask questions about these sources and AI will answer. And most importantly, you can fine tune your AI on these sources. When you click add source, you have two options, upload PDF or add a URL. In my case, I will add a URL and that would be penpilot.ai, which is the landing page of penpilot AI. I click add URL, it takes a few seconds to add the URL, and now AI is passing the source. This also takes a couple seconds. Now it's done, we get the title of the page, the URL, and we get an option to chat with the URL. So chatting with the URL will just give you a preview of the URL you just added and a chat interface to ask questions about the URL. For example, what is this about? Okay, so that's good. As you can see, the AI has knowledge about this page and answers speech text, um, which is here, um, plagiarism checker, and the other features. Okay, so let's go back to writing content. Now that we have this source in our library, we can start by generating a draft. And you will see why it's better to add sources to your library. So let's say I want to write a blog post, and the purpose would be promote, and I need it to be English US. I click next step, and now we have the knowledge base step. So knowledge base is a way to guide the AI towards your goals or the content you want to write. For example, I can use my landing page here as a knowledge base, right? Select sources from your library. We have the landing page. So when I choose this and I say, um, the best AI writing tool as a topic and overview could be extra information to guide the AI towards specific results. In this case, I'll just use the same as topic and I click start writing. Okay, so we get a title, a title discover ultimate AI writing tool and pilot AI. So as you can see, um, the AI was able to know that we want to write about penpilot AI. So it's it's mentioned in the title, it's mentioned here, why penpilot AI stands out, features you will love, um, and start going to features. Um, yeah, this is really good. And now the pricing model, this is also correct. User testimonials. Yeah, so this is looking great. This is about 930 words. Now let's start the refining and editing process. For example, this introduction, let's say, is longer than what I want it to be. I can simply highlight, click on AI commands, and make it shorter. Okay, so we get a shorter paragraph. I can replace my original paragraph for the new one or I just insert below it so I can compare them both. In this case, I will just replace selection. Okay, now let's take a look at the auto completion, which is already going. So while I'm writing, I will, the AI will start giving me auto completions. I can just click accept. For example, I can start writing the word additionally and been able to start offering suggestions. Okay, so now when I'm done, right, I can ask Pinpilot, for example, 
which is a chat built in my editor. I can ask it, um, for example, what do you think? Okay, that's good. Now I can also use Blusher Zim Checker to make sure my work is original. Okay, so this content is plagiarized and it's from pinpilot.ai. So that's a success. Now, let's take a look at, for example, adding images. Okay, that's good. Um, we have a to-do list, a unique per document, so I can add new items and mark them as complete to make sure I'm always on track. And once I'm done, I can just simply export my document to Word, HTML, or just copy to clipboard and take it and paste it wherever I need it to go. So yeah, that's Pinpot AI. Um, yeah, thank you.